Hi, welcome to first step Azure Cloud Services. In this video, we are going to see how to create a linked service for Azure Blob Storage in Azure Data Factory using SaaS URI. Generally, the Azure Blob Storage SaaS URI generation is categorized into three types that is known as Account SaaS, Service SaaS and User Delegate SaaS. In this video, we are going to use Account SaaS URI. If you want to know more about how to generate SaaS URI for Blob Storage, Please find the link in below description that will help you to understand the concept. Before going further, you need to make sure that several configurations were in place as expected. The first one is we need to have a valid blob storage account with the container specified. <coughs> Here we have created SAS public access container in the name where you can see there are multiple CSV files created. These are the files that we are going to use for the demonstration. Second one is we need to create a key vault secret for the SAS token and SAS URI, the complete URI. Okay, now let's jump into the data factory and create this linked service. In order to create the linked service, you need to log into your data factory, go to manage linked services, click new. In new, go to Azure, Azure Blob Storage, click continue. We are going to give the name as per our naming convention, LS stands for linked service, Azure Blob Storage, and here we are going to use SAS URI, but this is account SAS. So ACC SAS. Okay. And we are going to go FS underscore dev test underscore East US 2 underscore 0 1. Okay. And you can choose the auto resolve integration runtime here. In my previous video of how to uh, create linked services for Azure Blob Storage using account key, I have mentioned that uh, interactive. Uh, authoring has to be enabled that is for the managed virtual network but now i have disabled the managed virtual network so that is not required okay let's choose the account type as sas url here you need to paste the sas url and sas token let's go to the pre-created text and paste it here so here you can see the sas url i have copied it and pasted it here as like the SAS token I have copied it and pasted it here. The moment I hit test connection, it will succeed because this SAS URI and token is already generated to access these files. Okay. But again, hard coding any tokens or any URIs into the linked service is not recommended. So, what's the next approach? Here, instead of hard coding the token, you can choose Azure Keyword. In the Azure keyword, you can choose any one of the keyword service that we have already created. Okay. And then choose the secret name. Here, this is SAS token. Click the SAS token and hit test connection. This time, it will use this hard coded SAS URI and SAS token from keyword so that test connection is successful. If you want to completely automate this or if you want to completely secure this, go to keyword, choose the keyword linked service. Choose the secret name. Here, the secret name should be SAS URI full that we have already created. You can give any name as per your standards. Let's hit test connection. So, if you see, the test connection is successful. Let's hit the create button to create the linked service. See, the linked service is created successfully. Let's create a data set and validate the access to the files. Go to author, data sets, click new data set, Azure, blob storage, continue. Since we are using CSV file, we need to use delimited text, click continue. Let's give the name according to our naming convention. This is a data set, stands for TS. And this is going to connect to Azure Blob Storage using account SAS. And this is going to read CSV and write CSV. Okay. So CSV read write. Let's select the linked service. First, let's go with the default account key linked service. Enable this first OS header option. Click OK. Now, if you click preview data, it will ask for the path where the data is stored. Okay. So <coughs> Let's hit browse. Now you can see this uh, the container is available. Click the container, click the file name, hit OK, and click preview data. So now you can able to see 
the data available inside this part hyphen zero underscore hundred k. Okay. Let's choose the different file. Go to browse one more time. Choose the second file. Hit OK and click preview data. See, now we could able to read the second file. So this is using the previous linker service that we have created. Let's switch the accounts as and run preview data. See, with this as well, you could able to now see the data sets. This is how you can create a linked service for Azure Blob Storage in Azure Data Factory using account SaaS. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.